Morning, morning, everybody. Michelle is here. Michelle is here on this Monday. Monday, Monday. And uh, let's see what the date is. I think it's uh, May the 13th. Yes, yeah, May the 13th, 2024. What you say? So I thought I'd get on up and share a bit of, uh, you know, a bit of my uh, experiences and, and whatnot in, in, in hopes of, because hope, you know, sometimes, you know, in hopes of helping. How about that? Um, and sometimes, you know, you have to plant the seeds. Well, actually, you have to always plant the seeds. I know a lot of people, um, you know, have their theories about stuff, and that's fine. That's fine. And they'll always throw their their experience at you, just like I do. Our experiences do matter. But um, at the same time, you know, I don't want to be going back and forth with people about their experiences. You know, for me, just, just put out the results. You know, present results about what your experiences have, you know, have culminated for you. And, and walk the talk. That's all you need to do. You're not going to be able to, unfortunately, at these, at these times, do much about a lot of things that are going to be happening. A lot of us are not going to be able to do not a goddamn thing about what's about to happen for a lot of people on so many levels. And most of it is weather related. There's not, a, there's not anything anyone's going to be able to do despite what they say and they're saying a lot and but at the same time you still have responsibilities and accountabilities to your behaviors and actions as well as um, you know the evolving of your consciousness you know it's, it's, it's been that simple for hundreds and thousands and maybe millions of years it's about the consciousness. But no one likes to hear how simple things are because they've complicated their lives. They've, they've piled themselves with all of this. And especially with the, how they label themselves. You know, I want you to picture uh, yourself just standing somewhere, you know, preferably in your house. Just picture yourself just standing in the center of your house or wherever is comfortable in your house. Okay, face south. And um, preferably bare, barefoot, like I said. And see if you can just stand there and peel off every label that you have about yourself. Okay. The, it, we can start deeper. You know, we can start with our bio biology, strip it off. See if you can strip off all of that stuff that you label yourself to be. And, and see what you end up with. And usually what you'll end up with is nothing. Okay? That's where we came from. We came from nothing. All right? We were an idea. Okay? Ideas, usually it, it, it is, okay, it comes from nothing, but there's something always going on. And that's that a continual, continual energy flow. How energy flows, flows, flows. So get in the habit if you if you have the time. A lot of people do not. And like I said, strip yourself of all of these labels you call yourself. And it's not so much about the biology. And in, it's not so much about your biology and your um, ethnicity. You know, I mean, but just strip it all. Strip it all. Okay. And, and see if you can stand there in nothingness. Okay, and so and and see what that see what that does for you, and if it doesn't snap you out of your your trances about how important you think you are, then it's just going to be so much more difficult for you to handle the upcoming events. That's just how that's just how it is. Um, we are nothing but something. And so we need to be gentle and kind and not take that so literal. 
take it as figuratively and metaphorically. We're nothing, but we're something. And at, at a certain stage of your life, you're going to need to be able to have a certain type of thinking molds to be able to handle certain type of information. We have to evolve ourselves at a, you know. I can hold, I'm, I'm not holding anyone's hand because, you know, I, I, you know, it's, it's, it's counterproductive. Um, and it all, you know, so that's why it's going to take more than just one person to, to do certain things and be creative about it. And I'm, I'm picking it up on certain, pla in certain places where people are being creative. You have to be creative. That's just the bottom line. If you think it's business as usual, all right, continue to continue to operate in such a fashion. But don't be upset with with other people that are seeing through all of that and getting past it. Okay, um, it has to be a, your your life has to be about more than materialism, and and also more about your materialism. Okay. You, you know, I told you, you know, just see if you could think about yourself as nothing all day. <laughs> you know, and I know a lot of people uh, find humor in a lot of things. And that's fantastic, actually, to find humor. <laughs> to walk around, to walk around and, and be nothing, you know. <laughs> and, and it ought to be fun like that, you know, because some people, like I said, so uptight. It's like, God damn, you know, let it go. And we're and they're the ones that usually are telling us to let it go, you know, let it go, let it flow, you know. Um, find humor in what you're doing, especially if you have that opportunity to do so, you know, on your day off, you know, see if you can find something to to laugh about, and um, and and see how see how closely it can bring you to okay, and to look around in your environment and understand, okay, you know, there's a lot of moving parts in all of our lives and we are, we, we keep getting ourselves worked up over, over small things. And what's, that's, what's, that's what's happening to a lot of consciousness. They, a lot of people in their, in their consciousness due to lack of development, developing their consciousness, they cannot handle simple things. Simple things will send them into psychosis. Like certain things that happen over the weekend, and it got people just all riled up and just going and going and going, and that is that caused a lot of damage to your consciousness when when certain things like that happen, where you're getting you where you know like you remember that um I guess it's a metaphor crying over spilled milk. Let's see exactly what that means. Stand by, let me. I didn't think I was gonna be using this. Ah. Oh. You know, crying over spilled milk. Let's see what that. What does that mean? What does it? What does it say? I know what it means now, but I want you to know. You know, a lot of a lot of stuff has been changed, and so a lot of things you think you know, you realize. Okay, that's not the meeting how I was. You know, I was. I remember. So crying over spilled milk, or cry over spilled milk. What does it say in here? Um, to feel sorry or sad about something that has already happened. Okay. So, I mean, you know, that's exactly what I thought it meant. But, you know, a lot of people go into it and, and try to over over um stretch something that's simple you know you're crying you know you're upset you're unhappy about something that has already happened and so and it cannot be changed so if you're spending a lot of time being unhappy about things you cannot change okay you know you're just you're just wasting precious 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 moments you really are so um Again, a lot of things are coming forward for a lot of people. And, um, I, so, you know, sometimes I do feel deep sadness for a lot of people because a lot of people uh, just were complacent. They didn't understand. Um, 
you know, a certain level of what is uh, considered you know, your responsibility in your lives and that you were just following blueprints of people who've died or or, or you're following blueprints of of uh, ideology that failed decades ago. Failed. And so what you were supposed to do is not necessarily follow that blueprint. You were supposed to go in there Evaluate it and find out how to elevate the bl- the blueprint. Okay, a blueprint cannot just a- remain a blueprint for decades upon decades if you don't have results, and we have not had results. Okay, so just prepare yourself for um, upcoming events that are not business as usual and the so-called leadership has no idea how to resolve it as well what they're continuing to do is the the continue the the continuation of the status quo you know they 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 start you know because as, as i said the act of politics is a fallacy the act of politics is a fallacy the act of ponzi schemes are a fallacy the act of pyramid schemes are a fallacy. Okay, the economic conditions are a fallacy. So see how you can go into that space and understand it if you choose to. Uh, it's, there's no longer any excuses, and a lot of us know that, but I just want to put this out to people that genuinely are inspired by their lives they're inspired by their skills and abilities they're inspired by people you know and they really on this you know because they've taken they've done the work they've taken stuff off the personal they strip their egos you know just strip them to the side their beliefs you know the act of beliefs also are fallacies as well you know so just take this opportunity, you know, when you can, when you have the moments to really strip yourself down to nothing. And I mean that literally, figuratively, and metaphorically as nothing. Just imagine what you see of me strips itself away and there's nothing there. Okay? And that nothingness is who you are. That's how you were created. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and start right there on this Monday. I got stuff to do, but I'm going to go ahead and send peace and love all over the stars and moon and mountains. Genuine love for all of you. And take care of yourself. Take care of each other. And trust me, I'll be back.